Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists titled Paul Onlyism Debunked. Now, if you have not heard the term Paul Onlyism before, it's probably because I coined the term. Normally this doctrine is referred to as hyper dispensationalism. And the problem with it is that they elevate the Apostle Paul above all the other apostles, above John and Peter, and even elevate Paul above Jesus. Now, you may think that's outlandish and maybe untrue, but they say that you cannot be saved by reading the red letters. Those are the words that came out of the mouth of Jesus. They say you cannot be saved by reading the Gospel of John. Now, they say you cannot be saved apart from the words of Paul, particularly uh, in, a, in the book 1 Corinthians and chapter 15 verses 1 through 4. So they, some of their terms that uh, kind of they fly as a, as a, as a banner is uh, rightly divide the word of God, Paul is our apostle, uh, the gospel of the grace of God uh, versus the gospel of the kingdom. Uh, and so they, they, they believe that there's uh, two different gospels, two different messages. But I prove in this playlist that Jesus, John, Peter, and Paul all preached exactly the same message. Uh, they preached the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus for our salvation, and that we, we simply need to get saved by faith alone in Christ alone. Uh, so if you watch this playlist, I systematically take all of their positions, and it's very easy to prove them wrong. Now, if you are a hyper-dispensationalist, uh, I urge you to watch this playlist, go through it very carefully, take notes, and if you think I'm wrong, make a comment or make a video answer for me, show me where I'm wrong. But I think uh, if you will watch these videos with an open mind, you'll find that all your positions are easily proven wrong simply by looking at the scriptures. So uh, I hope you will watch this and I look forward to your comments. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.